What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at a watch that I'm be wearing on my wrist for my Rocky Raccoon 100. What is it? You'll find out later on in this video. Alright guys, so the watch that I am choosing to wear for my Ultra Marathon, for the Brazos Ben, for the Rocky Raccoon, for the Rocky Raccoon 100 is this watch. This is the Garmin 955. This is a watch that I've been wearing on my wrist for, you know, all of my training. I love this watch. It's a great watch. This is also like the watch that came out right before the Garmin 965, which came out a month after I bought this watch. So I could have bought the Garmin 965 if I waited. I didn't know it was coming out. Thank you Garmin for telling me. They did not, but I got this watch 955 and I'm actually really happy about it. I like the watch. I have no complaints about it, but also this watch I bought myself, like I said. So this is my own thoughts on this product, the Garmin 955. I did not get paid to say any of this. So this is the Garmin 955. Let's take a look at it right here below. So this is the watch. This is a 46.5 millimeter watch face. So it's a little bit larger and I do tend to like larger watches. I did put a protective screen on top of it because I do tend to scratch my lenses whenever I work on my car or do stuff around the house as they like to bang my watch and everything. If I don't take it off, I find myself scratching it. So I do have a screen protector on it and it does have a scratch right there if y'all can see that but other than that you can see that it does have a little bit of a bezel which i hardly even notice whenever i'm using it and then this one is not made out of metal like the ca the case for the watch is not made out of metal this is a fiber reinforced polymer over here uh, i did change out the wristband it had a silicone based wristband before and i just didn't like how it wasn't fitting like perfectly for me like it'd either be a little bit loose or a little bit tight but with this one this is the aftermarket one that i got on amazon i'll put it on the links down below but this one i can just strap it on my wrist and it velcros exactly the way i want it and it's actually a little bit of a smaller form factor than the silicone wrist strap as well so i'm really liking this one too the original band was not a easy release band so you do have to you know unscrew it but once you do that you can put any aftermarket band on it just like i did right here so there you go and then on the back of the watch you're going to see the heart rate monitor the charging port right here and yeah that's pretty much it i have been enjoying this watch the one of the main features i'm using this watch for is the battery life just stand alone on smartwatch mode this watch will last you 15 days and then if you do use it with GPS only, that's gonna last you about 42 hours. So I'm gonna put that to the test for my ultra marathon. For the Rocket Raccoon, I do have a 33 hour time limit. So GPS only, I'm not gonna put music on it because music does drain the battery life of this a lot. So I won't be using music on here. I'll be bringing my phone along with me because I don't wanna kill my battery on my Garmin for my ultra marathon, I want to have it last forever so I can put it on Strava because if you don't put it on Strava, then the workout didn't count and 100 miles is going to count. So I want to have it last as long as possible. It does have other modes like it has multi-satellite mode, which is going to be a lot more accurate than just using GPS mode, but I'm happy with what I get. The only thing I really care about is the time that I get my 100 miles in. So that's the most important thing that it lasts the whole time. And we'll see how accurate it is on GPS mode only after the race because it's going to be in the forest of Sam Houston Park. But this is the watch I'm using. Again, you know, you could get the Phoenix watch, but this thing has everything you need. This is the Forerunner series. So it has all those metrics like morning report. Whenever I wake up in the morning, it's going to ask me if I want to see my morning report and it'll tell me how well I slept, how recovered I am. Uh, it'll tell me the weather and you know that's a nice little feature it has suggested workouts for forerunners so if you look at my watch right now if i go to a run it's going to suggest today i should do a threshold workout 2 by 15 minutes at 850 pace for 55 minutes uh, so i like that feature as well i use it sometimes whenever you're not as motivated to run as other times you look at your watch and it has suggested workout and a lot of times they are Fun to do that and also this thing does have a touchscreen so you can see that right here it has a touchscreen and it does have a run mode there is an ultra run mode the ultra run mode is actually kind of interesting because if you look at it it has something called rest period whenever you press your lap button when you're stopped with your crew you could pause it 
and it's going to set a stopwatch for how long you're at that rest stop so you're not there too long. So you can look at your watch, see how long you're there, and then after that you press the lap button again, and then you're gonna know if you spent a little bit too much time or too short of time, at least you know you have that. I don't know if I'm gonna use that for my Ultra Marathon. It's a cool feature, but I'm not sure I'll use that. And also when you're, you're on there, you could also put your routes on there. It has alerts, so you could make it have a custom alert, like a run walk period. Uh, that's useful, but again, I'm not gonna use that for my ultra marathon. I strictly want this just getting that my time and my distance for the race, because I don't want to risk it losing battery. Even though it does say it has 42 hours, I wanna make sure it has 42 hours by not using too many of the features that it does have. Other than that, I really like this Garmin 955. Uh, I could have got a Phoenix, but again, this is a little bit cheaper than the Phoenix. This is gonna run you about $499. When I bought it, it was $599. Uh, so uh, $499 for this watch compared to a Phoenix, which is gonna be, I think, uh, probably close to $699 or $599. So this is a value for a watch that does a lot of things that those top of the line watches do. So the screen on it is going to be that old school transflective memory in pixel one. So it's going to be like this where, you know, I, I feel like it still does a good job with being able to read everything. I've had no issues with it. Like I know the other one is more vibrant, but that also means that the battery life on that 965 is going to be a lot less than this one. Some of the features I do use is going to be over here. So it has find my phone. So you can hear my phone go off right there. So whenever you need to find your phone, it has that. It also has credit card. So, you know, whenever I'm out shopping and I forget my credit card, I just have to put it in here. I put my debit card information in here and just tap it anywhere I go. I don't even have to bring my wallet anymore. So that's about it. Like I could tell you more about it. I'll probably do that in another video, but for what I'm using this for, I'm gonna be using this in Garmin 955. I probably will also, just because I'm crazy like that, I'm gonna bring this Apex Pro 2 as well on my other watch, just so I have a backup. These are both battery kings. This one's probably a little bit more of a battery king than this one, but they're still both great watches for an ultra marathon. But this would be my primary watch right here. The Garmin 955. I'm happy to use it. Let me know which watch you use for your ultra marathons. Do you prefer Garmin's or do you prefer Koros's? I know there's a big debate between these two. I'm lucky enough to have both, so I'll be using both of my wrists, but this is, again, this is my preferred watch for all my training. I like this watch. It has all the features. We'll talk about that in another video. We'll also talk about this one in another video. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Garmin 955 is the watch for me from ultra marathon. Hopefully it tracks 100 miles on February 4th for the Rock Raccoon. 100. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of review, kind of uh, just talking about my watch, whatever it was. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. See you guys next one. Peace.